three Telecasters, three different price points. Which one's going to sound the best? We're going to run all three against each other in a triple shootout to end all tele shootouts today, right here on Geargasms. Hi kids, welcome to Geargasms. I'm your partially hidden host, Alan Barnes, and today we're going to take three different Telecasters. We're going to make them bang heads against each other. We're going to make them go to war. There's going to be a shootout. There's going to be gunfire. There's going to be smoke. And when it all clears, which Telecaster will be the winner? You're going to get to help decide that in the comments. Each one of these Telecasters, completely different. We've got three of them from least expensive to medium expensive to most expensive. We're going to tell you about all three Telecasters, but first, the data. Contender number one, this is a started off life as a Squire Tele. I changed the pickups, I put Tex-Mex pickups in it, I changed the pick guard, I swapped out a Mighty Might neck, so it's now kind of a what I would call a, a squender. This second guy is a Made in Mexico Fender Telecaster Special Edition in ash. Beautiful guitar. It's the lightest of the three. One thing you'll notice that's different about this guy, the switch is at the back instead of in the front like a normal Telecaster. I kind of like that. Some people don't. I put Fender American Original Vintage 52 pickups in this. Got rid of the Mexican ceramics. Now this particular guitar is the newest member of the family. It's an American special. Chicago Music Exchange had a limited edition exclusive to them in shell pink and I love it. As soon as I saw it I knew I had to own it. It has Texas special pickups in it. Standard three barrel brass bridge just like this guy over here has and of course the Squire has a six saddle.
Before I forget, it's t-shirt shout out time, kids. Slip not on the body, slip not on the wall, because the first thing you think of when you think of a Telecaster is slip not, and the first thing you think of when you think of a slip not is a Telecaster. Duh. One thing to point out, the clean tones were all done with the exact same amp settings, just popping the cable out between the guitars. They were all done on the Fender Blues Junior, just the built-in reverb, no effects, mic'd into the DAW, and similarly these crunch and higher gain tones were done through the Marshall behind me, mic straight through, a little bit of reverb on the amp, no tricks. That way the guitars are completely equal. I'm not going to fiddle with EQ between guitars. People have actually asked me to do that. And it's like, you know, if I start fiddling with EQ and gain settings between the guitars, playing around, tailoring it for the pickups, I can make probably two of the most different guitars in this room sound pretty damn close to the same. So what good does that do when you're trying to do a shootout? It makes no sense. All right, bridge pickup. Just a little bit of crunch. We're still on the clean slash crunch channel on the Marshall. Got a little hair on it. Just play through some chords so you can get an idea how it sounds. I'll try to do reasonably the same things on all three guitars like I did with the back-to-back -back clips. So here we go. Middle position. Neck 
position. Okay, Telecaster number two, bridge position. Telecaster number two, middle position. Telecaster number two, neck position. Telecaster number three, bridge position. Telecaster number three, the middle position. Telecaster number three, the neck position. Well, that wraps up our triple Telecaster shootout. It was interesting to hear them back to back. Even when I play them in the room back to back, there's something different about playing them, putting them back to back in a video and being able to hear them one right after another. Of course, the recorded audio often shows some surprising things in terms of the relative loudness of the pickups. You can certainly see it from pickup to pickup. I think each one of these three Telecasters has its pros and cons. They look the same. They sort of play the same, but not really. They're all kind of different. Do I have a favorite? Maybe I do, but I'm not going to tell you which one. All three of them are different. All three of them are unique, even though they're Telecasters. They sound a little different. They feel a little different. They play a little differently. It's a good exercise to do these kinds of videos and hear the three guitars back to back because even when I'm in the room with them, playing them one right after another, the brain doesn't sort of remember things. But when you see them on the video and you really get a chance to hear them back to back, you can really suss out the differences. There's always a surprise in the audio software when you can look at the waveform and you can see that certain sets of pickups are very much louder, undeniably so, in the waveform. Which one was your favorite? Make sure you leave them in the comments. As always, thank you for your time. Click the like button, hit the subscribe button. We're going to try and keep this fun. We're going to try and make it a little bit funny. Lots of good information. Keep coming back week after week. I'm Alan Barnes saying we hope to see you here again on Geargasms.